There are lower risk medications and alternative treatments that have been shown to be effective for managing pain. If this approach is not successful, the benefits of prescribing opioids and other strong medications for pain management may outweigh the risks. It is important for providers, family caregivers, and those they care for to work as a team in the development of a pain management plan. In this video, our family caregiver Aisha is helping her mother, who suffers from arthritis, evaluate some lower risk treatment options that may help with her mother's pain. I am worried about my mom's pain at night. It's impacting her mood during the day, her energy level, and it's affecting her ability to connect and spend time with my daughter. Are there safe ways we can manage her pain without having to resort to things like opioids? Yeah, no, I'm glad you asked. And all of your concerns are very important. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through some lower risk options that might be available. When discussing treatment options with the provider, it's important to consider alternative treatment methods, such as yoga, massage, tai chi, acupuncture, and many others. Another important aspect of a balanced treatment plan is focusing on healthy lifestyle choices. Regular exercise or physical activity, sound sleep, dietary considerations, and reducing stress can have a positive impact on pain management. I have been prescribed opioids in the past, and I don't like the way they make me feel. They make me either groggy or moody. I think it was really a last resort option for her. I've spoken with your mother about these things before, but your insight will be key in devising a pain management plan. So things like, does hot or cold treatments work? Has music or meditation? Has acetaminophen? Is that been effective or do we need to try something stronger? And these are just a few of the options. There are several of those options are things that we have tried. Hot and cold therapy have both worked, uh, but I think she prefers the hot therapy <laughs> more than the cold. Meditation is something she's tried a few times, but I think she's too restless for that to really be effective. Acetaminophen is something that has helped on many occasions. There have just been a few times where she's needed something stronger, but that usually comes on the backside of a lot of activity. And so this is where we need your help to figure out what other options there are, what to do in those situations. Sure, no, absolutely. And typically these treatments work best if your mom is open and positive to trying new things, right? If we're not, then they probably won't work. Um, and they probably just won't be as effective. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can come up with a pain management strategy to um, explore some of these different options for her. The family caregiver is key in monitoring the use of alternative treatments and lower risk pain relievers by observing the response to the selected treatments, recording the response and any side effects, such as dizziness, falls, and confusion, and then sharing that information with the provider. A pain diary is an important tool for this purpose. For Mrs. Williams, her pain is well managed during the day with acetaminophen. At night, however, pain will often disrupt her sleep, making other treatment options necessary. Some of these options include use of a heating pad on her hip, use of meditation or music to help her get back to sleep, use of a TENS device on her hip, or the addition of an NSAID, like ibuprofen, during the night only. Now, adding a NSAID to her treatment does come with some risk. So that's something we definitely need to consider. Uh, we wanna look out for adverse effects because there's very few medications that have no issues for older patients. That's good to know. I'm already in the habit of tracking her reactions to various treatments, so I'll be sure to pay attention. That's great. Now getting good sleep will also be good for your mom. Well, what's important to me is to be able to spend quality time with my granddaughter. Absolutely. Knowing your goals is key, right, Mrs. Williams? Being the primary caregiver for an older adult suffering from pain can be challenging. You play an important role in support of the pain treatments by ensuring follow-through, correct application, monitoring the effects, and encouraging the older adult. Trying to juggle these various tasks while managing life's other responsibilities can become overwhelming. As a family caregiver, it is important to find outlets that allow you to practice caring for yourself. What are you and your dad gonna do later? We're going to the park. That's fun. Look who's here and wants to say hello. Hi, baby. Grandma. <laughs> Guess what? What, Grandma? 
I'll be able to walk you home from school on Monday. You will? You're feeling better? I am. Yes. <laughs> I love you, baby. Mwah. I love you too, Grandma. With a thoughtful pain management plan, low-risk treatments can be an effective tool in helping those we care about achieve their goals. For more information, please visit the Home Alone Alliance webpage at www.aarp.org slash no longer alone.